One of the most beautiful structures to ever exist, Nebula, can be born from one of the most explosive events in our universe. What kind of fascinating nebula do these massive explosions leave behind? You are watching Matter, and today we're looking at 10 of the wildest nebula photos ever taken. Number 10. NGC 2438 This abnormal nebula was first discovered in the 18th century and sits only 3,000 light-years from Earth inside the constellation Puppis. This planetary nebula is especially bright due to its location on the outskirts of an extremely bright star cluster known as M46, which increases the luminosity of the gases. The star that produced this nebula was very similar to our Sun, and towards the end of its life, it ballooned into a red giant and eventually shed its outer layers of gas, creating this massive glowing cloud. NGC 2438 spreads out over a distance of four and a half light years in diameter. Number 9. CRL 2688 The Egg Nebula Another odd nebula only 3,000 light years away from Earth lies in the constellation of Cygnus. The star remaining in the center of this nebula is shrouded in a thick cloud of dust, obscuring it from view. The only light that breaks free from this cloud comes out in four distinct beams that help create the bizarre ripple pattern that we see. Astronomers theorize that the light may come through four holes in the clouds and that these holes could point towards this being a binary star system at one point in its history. Number 8. NGC 2359, also known as Thor's Helmet. This nebula, located in the constellation of Canis Major, sits nearly 12,000 light years away from Earth and is known as Thor's Helmet due to its resemblance to the mythological figure's gear. Thor's helmet spans across 30,000 light years of space and is an extremely hot central star called Wolf Rayet Star WR7 that astronomers believe is in a rare pre supernova state. The nebula shares a lot of similarities with other bubble nebula, but got its unique curved bow like structure due to the interactions with a large molecular cloud that sits nearby. Interestingly, the body of this nebula contains a large amount of ionized material in addition to unionized gas as well. Number 7. NGC 6334, the Cat's Paw Nebula. Located 55,000 light years from our solar system, this nebula sits in the Carina Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way. First discovered in the mid 19th century, the Cat's Paw Nebula is a massive celestial structure that covers nearly 320 light years with a striking resemblance to a feline's paw. Its filamentary cloud structure gets the visible emissions we see as red and blue from the hydrogen and oxygen that make up much of its mass. The region of the Milky Way it inhabits is known for its star formation, giving this nebula a wonderful backdrop filled with newly blooming stars. Number 6. Westerhout 5 – The Sol Nebula This stunning emission nebula, known as the Sol Nebula, sits 7,500 light-years from us and is located within the Cassiopeia constellation. Sometimes called the Embryo Nebula, its massive 300 light-year diameter is home to a vast region of star formation glowing from the light of young stars. Most of the stars we can see here have just begun their life a few million years ago, making them mere infants in the lifespan of stars. Number 5. The Fairy Inside the M16 Eagle Nebula Sitting around 6,000 light years from Earth, the Eagle Nebula is not only home to large amounts of stars forming, it also is known for some of the most well known space photos ever taken. The columns of gas, known as the Pillar of Creation, take the spotlight often, but it's not the only breathtaking structure inside of this massive stellar nursery. The Fairy of Eagle Nebula is a large dust pillar that is slowly being whittled away by the powerful starlight of its newborn neighbors. This 10 light year tall figure spews hot radiation out as it heats up during the long process of its home nebula's evaporation. The way its material is evaporating gives this column its unique and complex structure, but as time moves forward, this figure will surely shift as well. Number 4. NGC 1999 The Waterfall Nebula 
This fascinating cosmic object resembles a waterfall sitting inside the Orion Molecular Cloud only 1,500 light-years away. Once astronomers discovered this nebula, the discussion began to try and understand how a structure like this could form. One of the first hypotheses suggests that stellar winds blown from newborn stars drew out these filaments of gas. But one problem with that theory is that no new stars have been found forming in that region, possibly due to the thick molecular cloud sitting nearby that could hide them. Another idea that came around is that there is a hidden binary system within the thick clouds. This binary system would need to be a pair of extremely dense objects such as neutron stars, and the radio waves that would be created from this system would be responsible for the structure of this unique nebula. This theory has largely been shelved because binary systems like the one suggested have not been found to emit the radio waves required for the formation of this structure. So for now, what is behind the formation of this nebula will remain hidden. Number 3. U Camelopardalis This unique nebula is a carbon-rich star reaching the very end of its life, 1500 light-years away in the constellation of Camelopardalis. The star currently creating this nebula gives us another eerie look into the possible future of our Sun. Once close to the size of the Sun, UCAM transformed into a red giant as it expanded to hold a hydrostatic equilibrium within its stellar body. But this expansion can only keep the star alive for a time. Eventually, the outer layers of the star will be ejected into space as the core reaches extremely hot temperatures. The blasting off of these outer layers gives us this fascinating and complex structure. Number 2. OH241.84 – The Calabash Nebula Images coming from the deep cosmos can often look so spectacular that it's hard to believe it actually exists. This nebula sitting 5,000 light-years from Earth, called the Calabash Nebula, is one of these incredible objects that seems fake. Inside the constellation of Puppis, this protoplanetary nebula gets much of its beauty from the elements that are contained within. One of the more prominent elements found inside the Calabash Nebula, sulfur, which also adds an interesting scent to this cosmic structure. If you were to get close enough to this nebula, you would be overwhelmed by the smell of rotten eggs, which has led to the fitting nickname, the Rotten Egg Nebula. Number 1. The Veil Nebula a remnant of a recent supernova, the Veil Nebula is a massive structure of ionized gas and dust that sits inside the constellation of Cygnus only a mere 2100 light-years from Earth. The star that led to this nebula was roughly 20 times the mass of the Sun and went supernova only around 10,000 years ago. This event was bright enough to see from Earth during the daytime meaning that many of our ancestors probably saw this brilliant event as a bright star in the sky as it happened. The nebula that we see today spans a huge distance, and when viewed from Earth, it covers an expanse of space as large as six full moons. What did humans think 10,000 years ago when they saw this brilliant light shining during the day? Our desire to see more of the incredible and wonderful things the universe has to offer seems to be endless. Lucky for us, space doesn't seem to have a lack of amazing and unbelievable objects for us to discover. What are your favorite objects found in space? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.